evaluate the expression for y equals negative 5. Well, this is a simple substitution problem. And what you do is instead of this y, you write a negative 5. So it's just going to be negative 5. And I'm going to put parentheses around it because the negative goes with the 5. See, it's y equals negative 5, so I put parentheses around the negative 5 to show it's all together. And then minus 6. So now I can see it's negative 5 minus 6 more. So what I can do is I can take the negative out of the 5 and also from the 6 and write it this way. Negative of 5 plus 6. Like that. And if you wanted to, you could have put, because this negative 6 has a greater magnitude, you could have put that one first, in which case you would have done this. You would have gotten negative 6 and then minus 5 like that. But you're going to see, working out either way, you'll still get the same answer. Because if you take the negative out of the 6 and the 5 now, you would get negative of 6 plus 5. So negative of 5 plus 6 is negative of 11. And the negative of 6 plus 5 is also the negative of 11. So see, either way here works out the same. So you don't need the parentheses anymore. So you just have negative 11 as your answer. Now I'm not going to continue to show many representations for the subtraction. But you, again, you can still use a number line. You can use those positive and negative chips, whatever you need.